Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, quadrilateral uh, ACBD as you can see in this uh, diagram such that uh, this uh, segment uh, AC equals to this segment uh, AD whereas uh, this uh, side length uh, BD is represented by X. This uh, side length uh, BC is represented by Y and this uh, angle is uh, 90 degrees likewise uh, this angle is 90 degrees as well and uh, a b is the diagonal and furthermore uh, x plus y equals to 88 uh, units and now our task is uh, to find the length uh, of this uh, diagonal a b please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe and please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. Before we proceed any further, let me go over the basic uh, concept. And here's our very first uh, concept. Let's recall the cyclic uh, quadrilateral. If all the vertices uh, of a quadrilateral uh, lie on the circle, then such kind of quadrilateral is called the cyclic uh, quadrilateral. As you can see in this uh, diagram, this quadrilateral uh, whose all vertices uh, A, B, C and D lie on the very same circle. And furthermore, the opposite angles uh, of a cyclic quadrilateral uh, have a total uh, of uh, 180 degrees. And now we are going to discuss the relationship between the Pythagorean theorem and the Ptolemy's uh, theorem. And now let's recall the Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square. As you can see in this uh, right triangle ABC, our this side length uh, is uh, A, this side length is B, and this uh, longest leg is uh, C. And if we draw another right triangle uh, BCD such that uh, its uh, diagonal uh, is uh, same as uh, this uh, C. And then we can see that in this uh, rectangle, uh, this uh, diagonal uh, AD is going to have a uh, same length uh, as this uh, C over here and furthermore uh, this uh, length uh, A is going to be equal to this length uh, A this uh, side length uh, B is going to be equal to this side length uh, B and now our Pythagorean theorem A square plus B square equal to C square is going to become uh, A times A is going to give us uh, A square plus uh, b times uh, b is going to give us uh, b square equal to c times uh, c is going to give us uh, c square and now the question if if these uh, side lengths uh, are uh, different all of uh, them what if i call uh, this side length uh, s uh, this uh, t this uh, u this uh, v this is our diagonal uh, d1 and this is our diagonal d sub uh, 2 then this uh, Pythagorean theorem uh, is going to become uh, a Ptolemy's uh, theorem such that uh, this side length uh, S uh, times uh, T plus uh, U times uh, V is going to be equal to D sub 1 uh, times uh, D sub 2 as you can see over here in this uh, equation and this uh, equation S times T plus uh, U times V equals to D sub 1 times uh, D sub 2 is called uh, Ptolemy's uh, theorem. However, the condition is uh, that uh, this uh, rectangle uh, must be a cyclic uh, quadrilateral. In other words, uh, all these uh, vertices A, B, C and D must lie on the circle. And this uh, diagram uh, depicts uh, our Ptolemy's uh, theorem. Now let's revert our attention back to our this uh, given uh, problem. And now we can see our this uh, quadrilateral uh, ACBD has become a cyclic uh, quadrilateral since all uh, is uh, vertices uh, lie on the very same uh, circle and now in this uh, next step I have connected uh, these uh, vertices uh, C and uh, D and now let's recall the Thales uh, theorem according to this theorem if A, C and uh, D are three distinct points uh, on the circle where the angle uh, C, A, D is a 90 degree angle then the line uh, C, D is a diameter as you can see over here we got these uh, three distinct points A, C, D lie on the very same uh, circle and this is our 90 degree angle so no wonder this uh, C, D is going to be our diameter and that is going to be 
passing through this uh, center O. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, CAD. Since these uh, two side lengths uh, are equal, let me call this uh, side length uh, lowercase a. Then this is going to be lowercase a as well. And now let's go ahead and apply the Pythagorean theorem uh, on this uh, triangle. And here's our Pythagorean theorem once again, a square plus uh, b square equal to c square. Let me call this the longest leg uh, as our side uh, c. This is our side a and this I'm going to call uh, side b. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. So we got a square, b is uh, a again, a square equal to c square. Let's undo this uh, square by taking the square root uh, on both uh, sides. So therefore our side c turns out to be a times square root of uh, 2. So thus our this uh, diameter uh, CD turns out to be a times uh, square root of 2. And now let's recall the Ptolemy's uh, theorem once again. S times T plus uh, U times V is equal to D sub 1 times D sub 2. Where our this uh, side length is uh, S, this side length is uh, T, this side length is U, this side length is uh, V, this uh, diagonal is uh, D sub 1 and this diagonal is uh, D sub 2. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, equation. S in our case is uh, lowercase a. So I'm going to write down uh, lowercase a times uh, our t is uh, y. I'm going to write down y plus uh, u in our case is uh, x. I'm going to write down x times uh, v in our case is uh, a equals to we got over here d sub 1 uh, is uh, a times uh, square root of 2. Let me write down uh, a times uh, square root of 2. And finally our this uh, diagonal uh, d sub 2 is uh, a b. So I'm going to just write down uh, this uh, a b length. And now let's make an observation. We can see all these uh, terms are uh, divisible by a across the board. So therefore we are going to divide uh, by a all the way and now we can see this a and a is gone so we got y plus uh, this is gone as well equal to x uh, equal to here a is gone so we ended up with the square root of 2 times uh, a b length but we know that our x plus y length uh, is uh, 88 so i'm going to replace it uh, by 88 so let's divide both sides by square root of 2 this is uh, gone so therefore our uh, a b length uh, turns out to be 88 uh, divided by square root of uh, 2. And now let's go ahead and rationalize the denominator by multiplying uh, and divided by square root of uh, 2. And here at the denominator square root of 2 times uh, square root of 2 is going to give us uh, 2 as you can see in this uh, next step. So therefore our this uh, a b length uh, turns out to be 44 times uh, square root of 2 units. So thus our AB length turns out to be 44 times square root of 2 units and that is equal to 62.23 units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.